Hello, and welcome to Algorithms Part 2. In this video, we will be discussing replacing. It is a very common task to run through a container of data and make replacements to the elements. One example might be that you want to convert from tab delimited data to comma delimited data. Using functions like standard replace and standard replace if make this task very easy. Here are the function signatures for replace and replace if. Notice that they both only allow a single replacement value, and that replace if only allows you to choose what gets replaced, not what it gets replaced with. Standard replace will replace all elements that equal the old value with the new value. Standard replace will replace all elements that equal the old value with the new value. Standard replace if will replace all of the elements where the predicate returns true with the new value. The predicate should have the following signature and not modify any of the range. Let's take a look at some example code. Okay, so I have my project file open. I'm ready to do some work here. The first thing I'm going to do is create some data that I'm going to run my replace on. So the first thing I do is I create a string called s that has this is some string in it, and I create a vector of 10 numbers between 0 and 10. The next thing I do is I output the string, and then I'm going to run through that string with the replace algorithm from beginning to end and replace the lowercase s with a capital B. Then I'm going to output that string again and see what I get. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print all the elements or all the numbers in the vector n to the screen so that we have a base reference of what we're looking at. And next, I'm going to run a replace if. I'm going to go from the beginning of n to the end of n, and I'm going to say that if the predicate is true when i is greater than or equal to 7, so if the uh, value at that position meets that predicate, replace it with the number 6. So this should turn 7, 8, 9, and 10 into 6s. It should leave 6 alone and all of the numbers below 7 alone. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and print that back out to the screen, and then we'll see the difference. Okay, let me go ahead and save this and run it. As you can see, all of the lowercase s's have been replaced with capital B's in the string, and all of the numbers above 7, and including 7, have been transformed into 6's because that meets the predicate that the number had to be greater than or equal to 7. 